We can't always recommend STG because of some weird choices here and there, but will this PC change our minds? With an E5 Xeon processor and an RX 580 for $399, this on paper looks like a decent budget pre-built, but will it have some of the same flaws their pre-builds normally have? We're about to open up and find out, but first, a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by ProtoArc. The average gamer spends hours a day in their gaming chair, and these hours add up to over a thousand hours yearly. And what's important when spending so much time sitting is finding a chair that not not only looks good, feels good, but also won't give you chronic lower back pain in your 20s. Introducing the ProtoArc ErgoChair 100. This ErgoChair has all the features you could possibly want to support long sessions at your setup, and it does it without breaking the bank. This chair has adaptive lumbar support, height adjustable armrests that can rotate up to 180 degrees, and a height adjustable headrest that has tilting features as well. The absolute best part about this chair though has got to be the seat cushion. Out of all the chairs I've sat in at this price point, this spring seat cushion is the comfiest out of any chair I've ever sat in, and this seat cushion will make those long gaming sessions or work sessions much less painful literally. To learn more about the Ergo Chair 100 from ProtoArc, check the link in the description down below, and if you decide to pick one of these sweet chairs up, 8 Toasty Bros will save you $36 at checkout to make this deal even sweeter. So huge thanks to ProtoArc for sponsoring today's video, now let's get back to it. Alright guys, so we're gonna do a little, a little unboxing action, but I think this might be a first for us with STG. Yeah, so they have a Xeon processor. All they say is an E5 Xeon, and I can't find anywhere which Xeon it actually is. There's a good chance this could be a Xeon from the third or fourth generation, so so it may not be that much better, but we'll see when we dive into it. But of course we have the traditional STG packaging. <laughs> I felt like a chiropractor opening that box. This was the one where I remember, uh, we say this every time, we're like, just get a full size mouse pad that is not RGB. Yeah. I promise you people will love that so much more STG. Yeah, and we even got comments on the last one we reviewed just recently that said the exact same thing. So STG, listen at home. But um, yeah, I'm curious to see for 399 with the 580 and the Xeon processor, if this one has some redeeming qualities about it and if it's a good choice on Amazon. All right, so we get a really basic membrane RGB keyboard. We've opened these up every time. They're, they're nothing great. They're honestly just a glorified office uh, keyboard. Same with the mouse. They're, they're not very pretty. They do have a pretty good amount of lift off, and, but they are RGB, so gaming. One funny thing to know that I just mentioned, the model we got is a 588 gig, which it never discloses a 2048. You should disclose because I'm 99% sure it's going to be a 2048. But for just $10 more, you can get a 598 gig, Ooh. which... Is that actually a 590? <laughs> I, I don't know. Sometimes, if it's like one of those uh, GRE or GME 590s, that's just a normal 580. So it, it's kind of weird with these GPU choices. You just gotta disclose which specific model it is though. It makes it easier. Yeah, I can almost guarantee you this is the 2048. It's definitely the GME 590. Yep. The Jimmy 590. The, the Jimmy 590. All right, let's see what we get here. I'm, I mean, I'm honestly expecting this to be like still pretty similar to the other builds that we normally get from them. I'm just hoping we finally have a little less bottleneck. Like they actually, I don't know how new the Xeon's gonna be, but it'd be nice if it was like more six gen-ish, you know? Yeah, the, the real test will be, is it a just a quad core or is it a four core eight thread? If it's a four core eight thread on an older generation, then yes, they're getting a bit better performance, less bottlenecking. And I think the best way to tell would be, do we have DDR3 or do we have DDR4 oh, memory? Yeah. We get a lot of these just super old systems with DDR3, which honestly, a few years ago, very, very viable. Honestly, like a really good idea, but we're kind of getting to the point where it's becoming less appealing taking these older office CPUs. But the tower, oh, the tower cooler, cooler is uh, a change up. Two fans on it too. Wow, yeah, it's kind of like, it reminds me, of, I mean, it's definitely like an AliExpress style one. Uh, so, it, okay, we, DDR4, 16 gigs. Wait a minute, guys. One. Maybe we have one of those like X99 combos in here. That'd be pretty sick. I think it 100% is. Look at the colors on the motherboard. Like, check check this out. You'll yeah, you'll see. recognize these. We oh, got some yeah. green and some blue. You know what? I'm not complaining about it because we have mentioned in videos that they should just use those combos more. Mm -hmm. Now, I will say there's only one stick in here. Um, so this could be one of the X99 ones where they just have a single 60 gig stick. Um, but the Tower Crew is a cool addition. Honestly, Honestly, this looks like a bulk AliExpress purchase or yeah. Alibaba, same area really. So, I mean, yeah, mouse, keyboard, power cable, uh, short mouse pad. We get a Bluetooth adapter, a Wi-Fi adapter, RGB remote, and then this is the cable to power the little RGB mouse pad. So, I mean, you do get almost a full setup with this. It's really hard to tell, maybe you can tell, if it's a 580 because there's a sticker that's like right underneath that cooler, but I cannot read it. Come on, there's a difference. I feel like I give yeah. this lesson all the time. 
A 2048-580 is basically an RX 570. It's not a true 580. You do get more performance with a true 580. Oh, they actually have their own STG stickers on the actual graphics cards. That's nice. pretty interesting. Um, and then for the power supply, we have the SKPS 500, which is honestly just a rebranded power supply, like white listed, white labeled, sorry. And um, if I had to guess, it's probably like, you know, something like a Pivia or something like that. They normally don't do a bad job with their cable management. I mean, with these budget builds, I would hope it's pretty clean. Um, it looks like we have our uh, two and a half inch SSD down here, which uh, let me verify the capacity of it. 512 gig, which is pretty fair okay. for a $400 build. 16 gigs of RAM. And uh, yeah, everything else is looking like it should. I want to see what this thing looks like because so far I am liking this one so much better than the ones that we get where they like load them with those crappy like fans that don't match or anything. Not that these are nice fans by any means. It did come off again, which <laughs> the last one we did was off. So if you get one of these and your RGB is not working, you have to use the remote to turn them on. I don't know if they do that on purpose in the factory or what, but this is the second time this happened. Are you ready? There it is. Nice. Hey, these actually aren't too ugly looking. I think the tower cooler makes this look much more it's premium. premium than it actually is. I mean, it's a $3.99 build, $400, but as a tower cooler and RGB fans, it really just comes down to the Xeon. Which Xeon do we have? What's the core count? And how well does it work with that 580? Yeah, the 580 has lost driver support, but for a build at $400, you can at least upgrade this thing with a better graphics card in the future, unlike those other ones where you're pretty much capped out because of the CPU. Well, at this point, I mean, it seems like it works, so we just gotta get it over to our test bench and actually see how well it games and also the value to price proposition of it. Value to price. Value to pr price to FPS. Is it good or not? Is it good or not? That's all I want to know. <laughs> all right, guys, we are playing Apex Legends on our Xeon N580 and we are uh, current. Oh, we're not on any settings apparently. We're currently at max FOV. We got the, uh, looks like, like a high, medium, Medium it's, low. This is what it went to, and it's just all over the place. Is that just okay? Now yeah. we're on medium, is what we're yeah, gonna call it. Yeah, there we go. All right, so out the gate at these settings, we're, oh my god, this is the first weapon. It's the first weapon. We're definitely not getting the most uh, most amazing mm. latency in FPS. Like it definitely feels kind of chunky. That's how I describe it. Um, and to answer the question about what CPU we got, we got the E5 1620V3, which is a Haswell uh, socket 2011 CPU, which is more in line with like. Uh, the f right before 5000 series X99 CPUs, um, it's definitely better than like an i7 4770, but we're kind of in like an awkward middle there. We're like first gen DDR4. Um, it seems to be okay, but it's definitely having some weird bottlenecks in this game. Open the door, open the door. Hey. Die. I really just put in this lag. Oh, yeah, buddy. Got it. It is nice to see a. Oh, it's like, it is nice to see an SCG system where the CPU is just not sitting at 100% the entire time. It's actually more balanced. Oh, homie, please stop shooting. Yeah, oh, buddy. Assist. Now there you go. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> what is... Ooh. Oh. Oh, Eagle funny? Squad. Ah! All right. Well, anyways. I mean, you know, the game ran. I mean, it, it really wasn't terrible. Clearly, it, I was able to kill and everything, but definitely not a high refresh rate experience. You want to go lower settings in a game like this, but see how like a esports title does, perhaps. Fortnite. Fortnite. Well, I don't know where I is, but I'm dropping into Fortnite right now. Uh, DX12, a limited frame rate, and we're on performance settings. Um, we'll see what this thing can do. We are in a new season here, and there's a lot happening. I don't even know what's going on. It is so green. I will note, one thing that did happen again is it took forever to load in on the first drive, and it's still loading in a lot of stuff, and we're seeing that CPU in this game definitely being a bit of a bottleneck. So we'll see if it settles out once we land. Normally it does, but this is the first drop too, so it could always get better. Yeah, Fortnite, very CPU bound game, and there is somebody in here. Why, 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 why'd I do that? Urgh! Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh! No, not behind me! No! This is what I get. <laughs> uh. Yeah! So sweaty. They were so sweaty. This one's just right in here. Hey, where'd you go? Oh! Whoa, what is- oh. 
I'm done with this game, man. <laughs> what is Fortnite, bro? It's crazy. And honestly, the stutter that randomly happens is just not that enjoyable. But we'll test this in more games. We'll see if it can redeem itself somehow in some other games. But the Xeon, honestly, the 4 core 8 thread isn't looking that great. But we're on some other games. 3D more times by it, see what kind of set point we have, and then wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking our STG Xeon and 580 build, and you know, the results were actually not too bad, and I'm really happy that we're starting to get to that DDR4 territory, so it at least feels a little bit more updated. For $399, considering all the other PCs that are sold on Amazon at this price point, this really is a pretty decent deal. And in terms of the other benchmarks we tested on this PC, 3D Mark Times 5, we got a score of 3,553, which is an 11 cent per point score. Not amazing, but not the worst. And the other games we tested were Rainbow Six Siege at 1080p medium settings. We did get 170 FPS average. And we decided to test this in a AAA title as well, Spider-Man Miles Morales at 1080p with no FSR on medium settings. We did get 50 to 60 FPS, but there were a lot of dips into the 30s. So all in all, for $400, this is one of STG's better PCs. That Xeon is better, DDR4 memory is good to go, but it really is up to you guys. Do you think this performance is acceptable for the $400 price point? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you want to buy one of these PCs, check the link in the description. They will be an affiliate link and it will help us out. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other to YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye Peace. This PC right here will be for sale now at PCBros.tech with a new and improved one-year warranty. And it will be less than we paid for. We're passing the savings on to you guys because, yeah, you know what? What else are we going to do with this computer? PCBros.tech. Use code toastybros to and check out to save 2% your next purchase. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace.